What is up? I am Erica Wernick, Hollywood's leading success coach, and I'm real excited to bring you a new video today. If you have any other questions that you would like answered, drop them in the comments here or come find me on Instagram at Hollywood Success Coach and slide into my DMs. <laughs> Let me know what you want to hear. I want to help you achieve whatever it is that you are pursuing, and I want you to know that any dream is possible. Subscribe below, and I will see you on the video. Are you willing to do 150 times? And I ask you this because when I was starting out in Hollywood and I had a break in and I didn't know a single soul, I had no connections, I cold emailed around 150 people. My clients, when they reach out to agents and try to get representation from managers and agents, they always email at least 100. I think the most ever a client has emailed is 250. When I got a dream of buying a house in the Hollywood Hills or now I really want a house in the Palisades, I want a multi-million dollar house, I started going to open houses. Now I've been to over 150 open houses. It's probably past 200 at this point because I've been saying 150 for a while and I've been to many more open houses since then. But the idea is that the reason why the quantity is so big is because, you know, open house is a little different, but like with the cold emailing, I'm going to ask until I get a yes. And I'm not going to stop just because I feel discouraged. And even if I do feel discouraged and I stop for a hot minute, that's okay. But I'm going to get back out there and start asking more. And I think that, and same with the open houses, you know, um, it's not that I'm doing an ask with the open houses, but I, it's showing a level of dedication to a dream that most people just aren't doing. You know, I have learned so much going to 150 open houses. And same if you were to email 150 agents or managers, you would learn a lot. You know, you might get feedback. You see what subject line is working. You see if links are being clicked. Like, you get data and you learn from data. And that data is really helpful in moving forward. You know, like my real estate knowledge is so insane that I could probably be a real estate uh, agent at this point. People ask me all the time uh, why I'm not a real estate agent. <laughs> I'm like, I really only care for my own house. I don't think I'd care for anybody else. But I love, love real estate from going to 150 open houses. And now, you know, my friend will be like, you know, point at a house and say, that one, how much is that? And I can tell you how much the house probably costs, how many bedrooms are probably in there, the square footage. I mean, my knowledge is crazy because I've gathered so much data. And I think that what it really shows is determination, perseverance. How willing are you do? How willing are you to do the work that is required to succeed? Because look, you know, I always want things to be easy for you and feel good. And so I'm always going to talk about the law of attraction doing things easy. And I think it can feel really good and it can feel really easy when you're working from an inspired place. So when you're taking action on the ideas that come to you and you feel inspired to take certain actions. But Sometimes you have to take those actions over and over and over again until you get a yes from somebody, until an opportunity happens, until a door opens. And most people aren't willing to put in that kind of work. And, you know, I'll talk to so many people who, you know, have emailed like 10 agents and they're like, yeah, it's not working. I had trouble getting an agent. No, you just didn't ask enough. And people use it as an excuse. And then guess what? They don't end up being successful. So... I, like, I am seriously interested in lining up a whole bunch of people that are struggling and have been struggling for years in this industry and really grill them on what actions they've taken and see how many emails they've sent, how many people they've connected to. Do they wake up every day and try again? So what are you willing to do 150 times? Because if you're not willing to do anything 150 times, it's less likely that you're going to succeed in an industry that requires you to be super determined and really to persevere and have that persistence. Um, so start thinking like, what if I just did it again? What if I did it again and again and again? What if I just asked again instead of feeling completely defeated and like this is never going to happen? You didn't actually exhaust all your resources. And we can be really resourceful when we believe that we're going to be successful. So if you believe that your success is in, was inevitable, if you believed 100% you're going to succeed, this is going to work, what actions would you take? 
And when would you stop? You wouldn't. You wouldn't stop. So here's some motivation. If you have only done an ask a couple of times, a handful of times, go do it 150 times more.